Last week, I made a video about how we can refresh the Power BI dataset using the PowerShell script. But in that video, there was an issue with that. We need to sign in every time whenever we want to refresh the dataset using PowerShell. But in this video, we'll discuss about how you can do this without signing. That is, you don't need to sign in every time. It's just one time defined in the script itself, and that's it. So whenever you want to refresh, so you can refresh it using this script. So let's dig into it. Hi, I'm Muhammad Adnan, and welcome to my channel. In our channel, we discuss a lot about Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps, and a lot more to come in future. If you are visiting first time to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is my PowerShell script. Here, the first thing I have defined is the user, my user ID, and then the password, you have to define it here. And then we are storing in a variable which convert the security string as a plain text. And then my credentials are being passed through this. And we are connecting this Power BI service account using my credentials. So here is the key here. And the rest of the thing is everything is same as in previous video. So let's go and check whether it is working fine or not. So this is my Power BI data set. And here, as you can see, it was lots of refresh on 26 May. 12, 12. Now I want to refresh it here. It has to be in single line. So I'm pushing it into first line. Now I need to click on run. So it runs the script, open up the window in order to log in your public environment, tenant ID, client ID, and password. And we go through this one here into Power BI service. You can see it is spinning around here. So it will take time depending upon your dataset size. Now the refresh is complete is 1220. This is cool thing, right? So now we don't need to log in every time. Just with the help of this script, we can put it our this job beside to the ETL job. Whenever the ETL finish, if you run this script, then everything will refresh the Power BI dataset smoothly. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.